Hi, welcome to my video and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing an update about my balcony garden. I've been working on this for three months and this video is going to show you the start to finish transformation of this little outdoor space that we have. If you're not interested in all that, go ahead and skip forward to the final reveal. I completely respect your time. This whole thing started on May 20th when I decided to clean up the balcony after a very cold winter and a somewhat rainy spring. It's a small space, just 50 square feet, and it faces southeast. We do see the full Toronto skyline, which is nice. And we have some patio furniture, a little table, two chairs. We have enough pots for planting. We have a trellis, which was Prenev's addition. We wanted to grow ivy and we did try to for a couple years, but it never really worked out. There is another wall on the other side. I knew that we wanted to put shelves there to maximize our space, but before even getting into that, I had to clean out the balcony. It was very dusty. We moved the all-weather carpet and swept everything away and then just, well, not away. I didn't sweep it off the balcony. I, I gathered it and threw it out and then put things back where they belonged. For us, the beginning of gardening season is very much hearkened by the appearance of the garden centers in the various grocery stores. Inevitably, we go in there, get really crazy, and buy a whole bunch of plants that we can't accommodate. So we really wanted to start small this year. We went over to our local nursery, which is called Plant World, it's on Eglinton Avenue, and picked up just a couple of things to start with. This is a Carolina Reaper. It's the hottest pepper in the world. And we picked up two tomato plants. This one right here is called the yellow pear. It's a small tomato that grows in the shape of a pear and is yellow. And then another one called the green zebra tomato, which is an heirloom tomato. It's medium sized and when fully ripe, it's green and yellow. I decided to completely refresh my soil this year, which I didn't do last year, but I really wanted this year's plants to have very nutritive soil, especially since we were planning to eat the tomatoes and I, I wanted them to yield really well. So what you're seeing me do here is fill up the pots about halfway, then extract the plants, pinch off the roots. I've heard that that encourages growth and then uh, ultimately set the plant into the soil. These pots are actually all the same size. I know that they don't look that way from that shot, but they are. And we decided to call this, well, I decided to call this the edible corner because everything in this corner is in fact edible. Next, I repotted these campanulas. Prenev chose them. They're such a beautiful color and they're really adorable little flowers. I think these are a type of ground cover. Campanula in Latin means little bell, which is so charming, and I learned that when I was researching them. I chose a shallower pot for these, but I repotted them in much the same way that I did everything else. And I think that was actually the last thing that I did on that day. I did have a couple of things left, but I didn't get around to them until much later. And this is what we have going on on June 19th. This plant that I'm showing you right here, I was convinced that it was a marigold and I was nurturing it and growing it and I even told Prenev that it was a marigold, but it wasn't. It was just some sort of weed. So what I did is I very sneakily bought some marigolds from the market, pulled that plant out and just put a marigold in the old pot that was in and just kind of snuck it back into the place where it was and I had no intention of telling Prenev whatsoever and I was convinced that he wouldn't even really notice. This is Kitty, by the way. She loves to garden and she loves being on the balcony. It's one of her favorite spots. And speaking of Kitty, last year I used a litter box to plant herbs. It was never used as a litter box. It was just purchased because of its size and then I put herbs in it. When the herbs were done, I randomly used to throw seeds into this litter box and lo and behold, this year, some of those seeds actually started growing. This really large planter is where I decided that I would put some of those plants. And these are what the yellow pear tomatoes look like. They're not yellow yet, but they are growing really nicely. And the plant at this point in time, which is June 19th, had many, many flowers on it. We don't get as many bees as I would like. I don't know if it's because the bee population is decreasing in general or if it's because of where we live, but I do have to germinate some of those flowers on my own using my pinky finger. This is some mint, by the way. It uh, is not the healthiest, but it is uh, sprouting a little bit, so I'm hanging on to it at this point for now. I also have some purple basil, which tastes 
very similar to regular old basil, which I think is just Italian basil. But the purple color is really charming and unique. I've never grown it before. And when I saw it in uh, the garden center, I had to bring it home. This plant right here was actually on the shelf inside all winter long. It didn't flower, but it did start to make buds when the weather warmed up. There's the campanula. Looks like it's dying. I know, I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm not giving up on it yet. I had a really big mission going on this day. Not only did I have to play a switcheroo with that fake plant and the marigold, but marigolds come in sets of four, and so I had three other plants that I now had to accommodate, plus all of the random plants that started growing in the litter box. Those are plants called Jump Up and Kiss Me. That's what my mom calls them. Um, there's probably another name, and I'll try to find it and link it. But what I needed to do was really move those plants out of the litter box, and that's what you see me doing right here. So move those plants out of the litter box, also plant the remaining marigolds, and then discard the litter box. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I really thought that it would be a good idea to just put all of these plants in one big planter and just make sort of like a mixed box that would be really pretty. And at this point in time, I really thought that that was a great idea, but as you'll see later on, some of these plants are more aggressive than other plants, and they don't always get along in the same space. Moving forward one month to July 17th, the balcony has really come together quite a bit. These are the shelves that I mentioned wanting to put against that wall in the very beginning. The mint is still there, as you can see, doing a bit better. This is another plant that Prenov chose. It's a lovely color, beautiful, delicate little flowers. And I'm happy to say that his campanula also picked up a little bit. I think it was just maybe going through a bit of a phase, perhaps. These are the marigolds that you saw me transplant, including the one that I had to swap out. As you can see though, the Jump Up and Kiss Me is a very aggressive plant, and it was a mistake to put them in the same planter as marigolds. I will keep that in mind for next year. They really need their own pot. For some reason, I didn't think I had enough basil, so I grew some Italian basil as well as some Thai basil from seeds that I had last year. Too much basil is never a problem. We do actually use all three types. And our tomatoes at this point, July 17th, are coming along really well. This is the green zebra, not fully matured yet. And also our Carolina Reaper peppers are growing really nicely at this point. And I have to say that we're very intimidated by those peppers. They're like 2 million Scoville. And I am going to have to taste them, of course. I'll make a, a video of that, which no doubt will be very embarrassing. And the yellow pear tomatoes are so vibrant and delicious. We've been eating so many of those. I'm going to leave you at this point. I don't want to talk over the final shots of the balcony. So what you're going to see next is really the most updated look. And I just want to say thank you for spending time with me. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next week as usual with another recipe. I'm standing outside.